This is President Muhammad Buhari's second visit to the cotton-growing neighboring country of Benin Republic since his inauguration in May this year. President Muhammad Buhari's first visit here was on the 1st of August when this country marked its 55th independence anniversary. And this time to join his Beninua counterpart, President Boni Yai, for a state funeral in honor of the late President Matthew Karaku, who ruled Benin Republic for nearly 30 years. The Nigerian leader, alongside the presidents of Togo and Niger Republics, joined their host, Boni Yai, at the stadium complex in the heart of Kotono to pay their last respect in honor of the late Matthew Kereko, popularly referred to as Chameleon, due to what the people described as his protean politics. The well-attended state funeral was characterized by various songs of praise, eulogy, and glowing tribute in honor of the deceased. President Muhammad Buhari, who spoke on behalf of former and serving African leaders, said the contributions of the late President Matthew Kereko to democracy, peace, security, and development on the continent were remarkably outstanding. A leader in this block of this country, the Republic of Benin, a man of peace, cherished by all peace levels of Africa and beyond. Adieu, our beloved brother, the great African leader, General Matthew Kariku. Rest in peace. President Boni Yai, who succeeded Matthew Kerako nearly 10 years ago, said the people of Benin Republic will remain eternally grateful to the late president for laying a solid foundation for the nation's transformation, as well as putting it on the world stage. He therefore renamed the country's national sports complex after the late Matthew Kerako to immortalize the late president. Matthew Kerako ruled Benin Republic as military head of state between 1972 to 1991 and elected president from 1996 to 2005. In that remarkable transformation lies his enduring legacy. President Muhammad Buhari has since returned to Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. Adamu Sambo, NTA News.